What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here. Uh, today I'm gonna to show you how to enable TPM and Secure Boot, which is required for Windows 11. That seems to be the main setback to the new upgrade is that you need those two features which are generally turned off on consumer machines. So a lot of people are gonna think that it doesn't, that their machine isn't compatible, even if it really is, just because they haven't enabled it. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to enable those two features in your BIOS. And I've recorded the screen on the BIOS section because you can't record screens during that part. So I, I felt it was important to show that because it's kind of rare to find that footage of um, actually going through the BIOS and changing that. So I'm gonna show that. Before we get started, I wanna give a quick shout out to Todd M and Leslie Media. Thank you so much for uh, becoming channel supporters. I greatly appreciate it. If you wanna support the channel, click on that join button below, get access to live stream archives and shout outs and videos like this. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, we can see here that it says my PC can run Windows 11. This was not the case before. It said it wasn't ready or compatible, even though I have a pretty beefy machine. So um, I went through here and, and don't worry about this attention required. That just, I didn't sign in, so it doesn't show that there, but we can skip that. Um, so in order to get into our BIOS, we're actually gonna go up to our settings. And then in our settings, we're gonna go to update and security. And then, Recovery. We're going to choose Advanced Startup and click on Restart Now. All right, so the PC has reset, and we can see we have a few options here. We're going to go down to Troubleshoot and then Advanced Options. Inside Advanced Options, we're going to go to UEFI Firmware Settings and then Restart. Now this is where it's going to start uh, in your BIOS instead of Windows. Um, so we'll have this load up. And um, everyone's BIOS is gonna look slightly different. Uh, I have an AMD machine with CyberPower PC. So my BIOS has their branding, but most of them have the options in the same spots. They just might be slightly named differently or um, with a slightly different user interface. But uh, let's go ahead and find our first TPM option. We'll go to advanced and this is a cpu option so we're going to click on cpu configuration and there it is we can see that amd ftpm switch is there and we just need to click on that and enable the amd cpu ftpm um, once we go ahead and enable that um, that part of the puzzle is complete and we need to go into our security and enable secure boot so let's click on security and then click on secure boot down here this could also be located in your boot options if your um, BIOS happens to be slightly different. Sometimes it's in your boot options or in the advanced menu. Normally though, I've seen it in the security uh, area. We're gonna click on secure boot and then turn that on. Uh, you need to choose the mode first. So we're gonna go to secure boot mode and set that to standard. If you set it to custom, it's, it lets us install um, custom keys in case we have certain hardware or um, software that we need to get working. We can add those specifically, but that's a little more than the average consumer needs to worry about. So we're just gonna choose standard and use a standard set of keys for um, all hardware. And click on yes, and then we wanna enable secure boot. Once secure boot's enabled, then you should be able to go back and run that Windows compatibility test again and it will hopefully work out all right for you. Uh, if you have any questions about uh, locating your uh, TPM and secure boot settings options, leave them in the comment section below and I'll do my best to try and help you out. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Peace. What? You've never heard of stream savers and you thought PewDiePie was the only YouTuber to make a game? I made a game too, and it's called Stream Savers, and it's available for pre-order right now for $9.99, and that's a great price.